Hi everybody, this is Cheryl here. I'm doing um, this video, it's a little bit of a different video. I guess this is a bit of a rant, a little bit of a let you guys, you know, know what's uh, to watch out for. Um, I just feel like I had to say something and pardon the background and stuff. I'm gonna show you on my computer here. Um, this is about uh, something that I it happened on, on eBay, not from my store, but from another seller. And I feel that I need to give you guys a heads up. And I think what kind of upset me the most was how this, this happened. Um, I, as most of you know, when I, I sell my mixes, I, um, uh, I give out free, sorry, my head just went out the wood. I, I'm literally out to lunch. My brain went out to lunch for about 30 seconds there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but when I sell, when I sell, um, my glitter mixes, I always give nail art as gifts. So of course I'm always trying to find, um, good deals on alloy nail art, which nail art is getting more expensive. I mean, literally it's like tripled in price just in the last eight months, six months, three months. I've seen it go from 99 cents for 10 pieces to as much as five, six, seven dollars for 10 pieces. Um, the average is now like 350 for 10 pieces. Um, unless you get the little chintzy ones, but anyway, um, I don't want to kind of ramble too much here. Um, I want to show you guys, uh, I purchased, um, from this seller and I'll show you the seller so you can be kind of careful. I'm actually going to open another page. I'm going to have three pages open just because, and I want to be careful because this is my business page and I don't want to show stuff that I shouldn't be showing. The stuff I will be showing is stuff that anybody can access anyway, which is like feedback and whatnot. Um, and of course, yeah, we finally got our new box yesterday for our router, but we have not put it up yet. So I'm still running on my old router and you can see it is, <laughs> sorry, I almost just showed something I shouldn't have. Um, it's, it's running super slow. I mean, literally that whole time I'm talking is opening a page. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is, oh my God. God, this is crazy. Um, yeah, it's it's like seriously connecting, connecting. It's seriously connecting, 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 spinning, connecting, spinning. I mean, literally, it takes forever. And my um, internet, um, as soon as the page opens here, my internet, this little icon down there that shows I'm on my Wi-Fi, I'll be on, it'll say connected, but um, it'll have an explanation point there and I'll just hang. So, and actually see those pages are still loading, still, still loading. That's what I'm talking about here. So hopefully the new, um, <laughs> the new router box will help. <laughs> so anyway, with that being said, and I keep saying it in every video, these videos take forever to upload and you can see as long as it's still opening page, see, they're still spinning, still opening. You can imagine how long it takes me to open or not open, but upload a video. I mean, seriously, look at that. The pages are still not open. They're still spinning. These are open. I got my, my messages open, but those are still, still loading. Um, so let me go in here. So, all right, this is what, okay, it's open. So this is what I purchased. First of all, this did not say POP and, um, Tara, lovely Lunula, she can vouch for me here because I sent her a message and it said 10 PCS. It did not say POP, 10 PCS. And, um, and I'm sorry about my phone is going crazy. I need to turn my alerts off. Um, but anyway, um, this is what it was, 10 pieces and you could, they had several kinds to pick from and I sent her a message and I said, oh my God, 10 pieces for 99 cents. That's awesome. Um, and then she, she was going to buy some and I said, don't just let me get them and see what happens. Cause I spent like 40 bucks, um, with these people. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, um, so you can see, and this is something that I didn't know until I called eBay and I got to, let me see if I can find it. Um, here, right here on the bottom in description seller. Okay. 
uh, description is in my, I got to look around here. Yeah, revisions. You can see that this seller has revised their listing. And you just click on view all revisions. Because when I bought it, it said 10 pieces. Well, I kind of figured and I told Tara, oh my God, it's loading. So I told Tara it sounded too good to be true. And I guess I was right. Um, but you can see now... You can see where they did the quantity, the descriptions, which is fine because I update my quantities and I update my descriptions often, um, but they're titles and they do it so many times. I don't know if I'm going to find it, but you can seriously go down here. Yeah, they updated pictures. They did the details. That's um, the title. So they're changing their titles. They're changing. Um, now, quantity is fine because like I said, I will do that on mine. Because, you know, I may have less than it says, or, or I might add more, so I'll change around the quantities. That's fine. But they are changing their des descriptions and their titles. And it tells the date, what time they did it. Look how many times. I mean, I'm scrolling here forever here. I am scrolling here forever. You can go in here, and this is something good for you guys to know when you buy from somebody and it looks too good to be true. Look and see how often they change. And you can see I'm still scrolling. Look how often they change their um, descriptions and titles because they're not being honest. Um, I'm going to stop scrolling here just because I don't want this video to be too long and I want to get my point across because I can still scroll. I mean, my scroll line is right there. I could just Look at that. Look how many times. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Hundreds of times. So anyway, that's something good for you guys to know that they have. you can do that on any seller. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Again, um, if I can get it to open, I will show you, again, where you can find the seller's description. But what happened was... Um, and like I said, this is stuff. Okay, so... I left my very, very first negative feedback. I, I don't leave negative feedback because, you know, I am, I'm a seller and I know how hard, you know, eBay really hits you when you get negatives. Um, and I will tell you why I left all these negatives for them. Um, and you can see that's the seller right there. Um, and it, if they wouldn't have gave me finally my money back, you would have seen in this description right here where that item number is because it was there yesterday. They finally, after I had eBay step in, it used to say what I bought because it always says what you buy under here and it said 10 PCS. So they couldn't get out of it. I called eBay and they saw it too. It didn't say POP and then one piece. No, it said 10 PCS. So I got an email from them, um, I got an email from them. Yeah, I'm looking for it here. Um, yesterday, several emails from them. And they asked me if they said they saw my feedback and that they want me to retract it. They said that it should be retracted. And I thought about it and I says, you know, I'm, I, as it might, being my first time ever leaving negative feedback for somebody, um, I thought really hard about it. And I hate, in fact, I, I was going to leave a neutral. And then I said, no, I'm not going to do that because I'm a seller and I think people should know that these guys are, they lie. They're, they're making people like me who sell look bad and it pisses me off. Um, so I said in my email to them, um, I said, you only gave me some of my money back. I'm still waiting um, on one of the items for you to give me my, my money back on. So that was one of my things. And I said to them, I said, I understand about negative feedbacks. I also sell on eBay and you are my very first negative feedback I've ever given. And I based my decisions on these facts. I says, you changed your listing after I purchased the items. It said 10 pieces, not POP. Two, I sent you messages about it and you never replied. Three, I requested a return and it sat there for four days before I had to ask eBay to step in and assist me. Um, and then I had to call eBay about this and sit on hold for an hour on with eBay to ask them to step in because you did not um, push the returned or refund through. And it took four days only because I had to have eBay step in and help me. I said, and then I said, five, um, as a seller on eBay, it's hard. And I feel unhonest sellers like you make it hard for honest sellers like me. 
Um, I said to them too, I needed several hundred of these bows and I believed your listing. I trusted you as a seller. Um, I even gave your listing to a few of my friends, but you lied and you changed your description and your title after I purchased these from you. Trust me, I told everyone I gave your listing to what you did to me. This is why I will not retract my feedback. And that's what I said to them, honestly. Um, so just be careful. Um, you know, I hope this was, I hope this was helpful for you because, um, I honestly, this, this really made me upset and I felt like you guys needed to know how to, oh, here it is. So if you're going to look at a sale, this is their page. And as you can see, they put POP and it used to, honestly, it's a 10 PCS. So, um, again, you scroll down to here, um, view revisions. This way you can see if a seller has changed anything, if, you know, Definitely, I didn't know about this until um, eBay told me because eBay even said, yeah, they changed it. It said 10 pieces. We can see that you were supposed to get 10 pieces and not one piece. Um, but anyway, so uh, I just wanted to to make a comment about that um, because it just it just makes me mad and it's hard as a seller. It's really hard. I mean, when you sell, you're not going to make everybody happy. You're just not, it's not going to happen. Um, but if they would have been honest about it right from the start and said, Oh, I'm sorry. I did change it. My bad. Here's your money back. I would have just been fine. Okay. I would have probably, I mean, honestly, I probably would have just left a neutral or maybe a positive, but said my piece. <laughs> in that positive. Um, I don't know. I just, I honestly don't know. At this point, it was a negative all the way. Yeah, they got five negatives from me. Five negatives is really bad um, when you get them all back to back. Because um, eBay can pull your store down. They could pull your statuses. They can limit how much you can sell. It's kind of, um, you know, it's something you guys should know about, you know, if you're leaving negatives for people, be very careful. That's probably how I'm going to end this video. Be very careful and think through your feedbacks. If you're going to really leave somebody a negative, make sure it's, it's a negative. Um, make sure you, you weighed it all out and, and it's deserving of, of a negative because a negative really, if somebody gets a lot of them, um, yeah, eBay can pull your store. They can, they can <laughs> do a lot of things. A neutral, not so much. Um, a neutral is a neutral because it's opinion based and anybody can leave an opinion. Um, but an opinion I don't think should be a negative. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to end it with that and I'm going to get moving on. This is 13 minutes, so this is going to take forever. So I will see you guys in my next one. I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, comment down below comments, whatever. Um, I just, again, I hope this was helpful. So I will see you in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.